Welcome to Tessa Tools. In this video, we'll be exploring how to use Microsoft Copilot with GPT safely and effectively in professional practice. We'll cover four key areas. First, how to enable and manage cross chat memory in Copilot, keeping your conversations consistent and secure. Second, how to use your own professional voice and avoid generic AI speak. Third, what a good output looks like focusing on clarity, accuracy, and proportional tone. And finally, understanding AI overreach, knowing when to pause, check, and apply professional judgment. This session is designed for social workers, students, and managers who want to use AI confidently with law, values, and accountability at the center of every conversation. In this section, we'll look at how Copilot's cross-chat memory works and how to keep it aligned with your professional purpose. Cross-chat memory is what allows Copilot to remember context between conversations. It can retain details such as your tone, writing style, and the kind of projects you're working on. This can save time, but it also means Copilot sometimes learns from what you say. Copilot updates its memory in two ways. First, when you explicitly ask it to remember something. For example, remember that I prefer concise bullet points. Second, when it infers a preference from your phrasing. If you say, stop summarizing, just give me references, it might interpret that as a standing instruction and update its memory automatically. That's why it's worth noticing when Copilot starts behaving differently, maybe using a new tone or referencing a project you've already finished. To see what's stored, open Copilot, select settings, then manage memory. You'll find a list of items Copilot knows about you. You can edit, delete, or reset any of them. It's good practice to review this regularly, especially if outputs begin to drift away from your usual tone or purpose. When moving between projects or handling sensitive material, turn memory off or reset it completely. That keeps older context from influencing new work and supports confidentiality. Managing memory isn't about control, it's about accountability. By checking what Copilot remembers and adjusting it when needed, you keep the technology proportionate, accurate, and professionally grounded. Next, we'll explore how to keep your voice consistent and reduce generic artificial intelligence sounding summaries. In the last section, we looked at how to manage Copilot's cross chat memory. Now let's talk about something just as important keeping your professional voice. AI can sound confident, but not always human. That overly polished, slightly corporate tone, what we often call AI speak, can flatten meaning and distance us from the people we support. Here's an example. AI speak might write, the individual requires support to optimise personal hygiene outcomes. A professional social work voice would say, Sajid needs help with personal care as he is no longer able to manage on his own. The difference is subtle but significant. One sounds procedural, the other sounds accountable. Both are factually correct. You can help Copilot learn your authentic tone. Try uploading or pasting a short example from one of your previous assessments or reflective notes. Then ask, analyze my writing style and describe it briefly. Copilot will give you a summary like, clear, factual, strengths-based, uses plain UK English. Add that summary to your memory settings so it starts to reflect your real voice in future chats. Next, use Copilot for what it does best, structure. It can build the framework for a case note, assessment or review in seconds through good prompting. You'll often get 80 to 90% of the outline right straight away. You then take the time to refine tone and accuracy, shaping the language so it sounds like you, not the AI. That's the balance, speed plus professional judgment. It's also important to keep expectations realistic. Copilot is a general large language model. It isn't trained specifically for social work. It learns patterns, not professional reasoning. So even with examples and memory settings, it will drift over time. There's no permanent fix, at least not yet, that guarantees it will write exactly like you every time. That's why it's good practice to reanalyze your writing style regularly. If your tone evolves or Copilot starts slipping back into AI speak, update the memory again. Think of it as digital supervision. 
a habit that keeps your voice consistent and your accountability visible. Remember, Copilot is your drafting assistant, not your author. Your edits, your tone and your review are what make an AI output professionally grounded and ethically safe. If you'd like to learn how to build these methods into your own workflow or team training, you can contact me through my website at tessa-tools.org. Copilot can help you build structure quickly, but it can't always tell what's accurate, proportionate or evidence-based. That's where your professional reasoning comes in. A good output is clear, factual and balanced. It reflects what's known, not what's assumed. Take this example. Copilots might write, there is significant risk of harm. But AI doesn't know what significant means in your context, or whether that risk is evidenced or inferred. That's an assumption, not a fact. When you see language like significant, complex, or serious, pause and check. Is this my professional judgment, or is it the AI overreaching? If it's the latter, remove it or rephrase to reflect the actual situation. For example, there may be increased risk due to reduced support. Always read the output as if you were explaining it to a colleague. If it doesn't sound like your reasoning, change it. Copilots can give you the framework, but only you can ensure clarity, accuracy and ethical tone. Good writing isn't about sounding confident. It's about being accountable. In this episode, we've explored how to use Microsoft Copilot safely and effectively in professional practice. We looked at how to manage memory, how to start building your authentic voice, begin to shape high quality outputs, and recognize when AI starts to overreach. Each step helps you work faster, but also more transparently and accountably. Remember, Copilot can provide structure and support your reasoning, but it cannot replace your professional judgment. If you'd like to learn how to apply these methods in your own assessments or train your team to use AI responsibly, you can contact me through my website at tessa-tools.org. Please do not forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.